Hi friends. What makes you laugh? Um, it's one of the things that I think is, is so important in life is just being able to see the lighter side of things and being able to make funny, uh, uh, just make light off, make fun off anything that happens. And especially things that are, that are difficult or sad. And sometimes um, I find myself in situations where I um, make a joke of something serious and, and people think that's you know insensitive or something. But in the end, I don't know, I feel like it's important to, 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 to do that, to, to just sometimes you know, point out the, the, the absurdity of something or the humor in something. Um, and I guess uh, I, I love humor. I love watching stand-up comedians and uh, especially, you know, people like Ricky Gervais who will say uh, on in interviews, you know, there's people who sort of ask him, is, it, is there anything that is off limits? And he'll sort of say, no, there isn't. There's, you know, it depends how you do it and, and what flack you're willing to take for it. You know, if, you, if you're a comedian, you make, you make certain kinds of jokes, you're going to get, you know, all sorts of people be offended by that, and if you can take it, if you're okay with with other people taking offense, then go ahead and make those jokes. And if if you don't want people to take offense, then don't make those jokes. It's just it's up to you what you're, you know. But but if you're a comedian and you want to make people laugh, then that's what you do. You just you you know you tell jokes, and if some people laugh, then that's a joke. It doesn't matter if it offends other people, um, and and it doesn't mean that people shouldn't get offended. You know, there's certain stereotypes and and kind of. Um, the, the, injustices that are perpetrated through humor as well and, and that that's p- part of it but it, yeah anyway um <laughs> humor is just I, I think it's just important and, and what's also important is kind of i guess being able to make uh being able to play being able to have fun um it's so funny that we sometimes you know uh say say it like a you know, it's like it's a bad thing. Oh, don't be such a kid. You know, don't be so childish. But but isn't that those good things? That, well, I think that childishness, um, being kid-like, those are great things. Especially if you want to be creative, and and that's you know the most important thing these days, anyway. So um, yeah, be more childish, be more kid-like, have fun, enjoy yourself. Like sometimes you need to have those moments where you just roll around on the floor laughing and just uh, you know you kind of like clutch your stomach level laughing you just can't stop and you're, you're laughing at something completely ridiculous like if someone walked into the room and asked you what you were laughing about they would just look at you with what how you were laughing at that and um it's like actually something that you can train there's something um a few years ago uh, a number of years ago now i um, took part in something called laughter yoga i was a, tra- a trained laughter yoga leader which is um, a practice of of Laughter is a kind of a therapeutic practice where well, you just laugh at, at nothing at all. And the guy who invented it, he says that he started these laughter clubs where he got people to laugh because he's a doctor and he knew that it was therapeutic to laugh and he helped people laugh by, by telling jokes. But after a while, they, they ran out of jokes, you know, they, especially they, they had a rule that they had to be clean jokes and they ran out of clean jokes. And uh, in the end, he thought, well, we don't have jokes, but maybe you can still make people laugh without jokes. And they invented this. His, his wife was a yoga teacher and they put together this kind of practice of through breathing and through exercises getting people to laugh and it's it's really fantastic um, <clears throat> and it's very simple you can um, actually it, it's part, part of this idea that your you know your emotions influence your physiology and your physiology also influences your emotions people often don't realize that there's a link in that direction if you're um, crunch yourself together and you know, make an angry face or sad face, you start to feel angry or sad. But if you, you know, if you open yourself up and you start to make a happy face, you start to smile, you start to be happy. There's a famous psychological experiment where they uh, ask people to hold a pen between their teeth like that. And um, um, when they told those people a joke, they found the people who were holding a teeth between, uh, a, pen, a pencil between their teeth found that joke to be much funnier than the people who didn't. So it really influences how you feel, uh, your physiology. So through you know, moving your body as if you're laughing, you feel happier. Or you know, through smiling, you feel you feel happier. Um, anyway, that's uh, just uh, about laughing. And but I just think humor and laughter, those are and, and having fun, those are really really important. Um, so I'm curious, what makes you laugh? Um, do you take the time regularly to, to have fun and to enjoy yourself and? and to laugh. Um, Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you tomorrow.